Sindri! As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? It's been so long. How you've grown. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, if you'll follow me, Brock mentioned he needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay, then. Your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Al alive? I mean, that's... What? It it's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son and disobeyed me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. What is it, dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. Taking advantage of certain material. Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Ah. Uh. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. Skialfa. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh. You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead, so it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, you know where Frey is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first, and then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? Glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh, you got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No, I could just use some fresh air is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh, no, I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always very clean. Thanks. 
I'd offer to give you a hug, but why traumatize either of us further? A chest. Not so easy, huh? Shut up! What are you looking at me for? I gave you the fancy bowstring. True. Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? There! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. It keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Your That's not weird at all. Hi. Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet vessel, I wish it did. Ha! <clears throat> See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again if that's what you're asking. <sighs> Is that you up there? Hello down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes! I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts! Oh. Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets? I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those, too! Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking, and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. 
on almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Ugh! Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day? And possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. But you were gone for two days, with nobody to watch your back. I'm your partner. We're not supposed to keep secrets. You sound just like father. Whose side are you on? Whose side? I don't know. What does it even mean to be on your side right now? How do I know you won't be running off to Asgard next? If I did, at least I'd be somewhere I could make a difference. Now that is crazy talk. That is the craziest of all possible talks. Why? Odin had the chance to kill me. But he didn't. He offered to teach me. Maybe if I had more answers, I could prevent... Prevent what? What is this about? It doesn't matter. Just let it go, okay? But you are... Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me! Listen! Let go! What the fuck? I can't! It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. <laughs> Sindri, you okay? What happened to your head? Are you kidding? You did this. I did? Yes, with your uh, bear claws. I, I didn't know. Hey, don't you two start up again. Can't you see my head pounding? Anyone recognize it? That thing? Oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. And listen, everyone. I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sandre? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. Sindri? Sindri, I... I'm so sorry. No. No, I don't want to hear it. You don't know what sorry means. We're not letting Odin get away with this. Would that be the Odin you invited into my home? We were all fooled. But some of us were bigger fools than others, aren't we? I gave you everything. My skills. My friendship, my home, my secrets, my treasures, and you just kept taking. And now what have I got? <laughs> Not even my family. You want sorry? This is what sorry looks like. I... What can we do? We. There is no we. There's only you. No matter what the cost. So what you can do... is get the fuck out of my sight!
much I guess. Leave it be. More than how you wish. His family too. We were. I'll go to Svartalfheim. Sindri? Are you sure? I said I'll go. Huh? <gasps> 